Good morning. As Guy says, TB42, we'll start at the, at the carriage. We've got 12165 OTR lug tires. We run sour motors on Von Ruden drive hubs. We have a series parallel drive system, no electronics downstairs, hydraulically activated, so there's no electronic componentry below the center post or the hydraulic swivel to, to have to worry about. We have standard pneumatic tires on the machine today. We have foam filled and we have flotation tires as well as an option. Jumping up to the power plant, this one is a Cummins engine, 65 horse diesel. And that's coupled to a Vickers hydraulic pump, 3,000 PSI load sense pressure compensated system. We have an optional Deutz, 47 horse engine, and we have a 1.3 GM dual fuel engine as well as an option. We run for our proportional functions a Holly valve, swing lift and drive, non proportional functions are HPI. 20 gallon hydraulic tank, 16 gallon fuel tank, APU system electrically powered by a 12 volt 1000 cold cranking amp battery, produces about 3.3 gallons of flow at 3000 PSI, run a return filtration system to 3 microns with a spin on filter. Um, <clears throat> pardon me. Going up to the boom skin from there. We run a three-section boom. The first two sections are aluminum. The reason for aluminum boom sections are several points. One, weight reduction. We're able to lengthen the boom overall length with our inner link that we'll talk about in a minute. And the biggest feature is with aluminum boom extrusions, you can hold extremely tight, dimensionally correct tolerances. So we have very straight boom skins. We have very good boom skin to wear pad contact. Wear pads are nylatron, shimmed, bolted in place. Our power track is plastic, covered with the aluminum housing for protection. It has uh, been very reliable for us, really protects the external cabling in the boom. It's retraction cable, dual cable for safety. And in the back of the boom here, you see our inner link. What it does is it shortens the overall length of the boom in this position by four feet, and when you're fully elevated, it adds four feet. What that does for us is we are able to have an unrestricted load capacity throughout the envelope of the boom. Also, a shorter profile, tighter job size, tighter areas in which to put this machine. Jumping up to the basket, this is the optional tri-entry basket. Standard is 30 by 60. We do have a, a, this will be the basket that you would get if you order the optional basket. Um, again, ease of entry, glazier package, loading materials, what they're doing more with the booms on the work site. Going to the controls, uh, we have OEM style controls. Uh, same control throughout the whole product range. This is a universal controller that we have. It is fully adjustable on both sides of the controller both outputs, we can custom tune it. One function can be sped up for the customers once and needs. Uh, we can slow it down. That comes into a lot in the aircraft industries, uh, a lot of glass work. We have a foot enable system that is coupled to a load sense dump valve on the hydraulic circuit. It's enabled when I put my foot on the switch or hit the enable at the ground. That's our safety feature. OEM wobble style joystick for lift and swing. Drive is wobble as well. No thumb steer uh, on this one. It's wobble stick left and right, forward and reverse. Drive speed is three miles an hour and high. Gradeability is 25%. Also available in two-wheel drive configuration. Um, I guess to guys lanyard attachment point, we might be somewhere between mid and bottom. So we'll call it a bottom mount. That's standard across the basket range. Um, 110 power to the platform standard. We use a worm gear hydraulic rotator um, on this particular model. And if, uh, see if you can swing it around for me, Mark, and we'll look at the other side.
Lower control box, again, very simplistic toggle switch design, uh, easily actuated with gloves on. Pictorials that we talked about in our round table this morning, very easy to identify what switch does what. Again, no electronics here. The only electronic, electronic management system that I have on the machine would be my engine protection module located right here. It's a very simple system that measures the tachometer input, temperature, and oil pressure. So very simple system to design, designed to uh, protect the unit. Standard circuit breaker type protection throughout the system, 25 amp, 15 amp downstairs, and upper control box, 3 amp protection. Non-proportional functions all bundled into one valve, an HPI valve, rheostat controlled, both from the upper basket and the lower basket to give you, if you will, some proportionality or controllability if you want to slow down the non-proportional functions. Polycarbonate fuel tank, lower control box houses five standard Bosch style relays, very, very clean and crisp inside. Um, very simple machine as we admitted to this morning. It's been a workhorse for us for many, many years. Um, at that, I'll finish and ask if there's any additional questions. And before the gentleman asks, the weight setting here is 10-5. <laughs> Tilt alarm is five degree omni. It's only activated when I'm extended or above horizontal. It sounds a tone, a dual tone, one in the basket and one below next to the tilt alarm. More of an automotive style horn down here, electronic style, you know, solid tone upstairs. No visual. We do not cut out any functions also. We believe that the operator is the safest part of the machine, so I don't ever want to take controls away from that part of the machine. So it just warns you that this it warns you. No, no cutouts. Our attitude is if you drive it into an unsafe condition, stop, think, drive it back out of that attitude, lower it. You can never lose control of your machine. When, when do you have high drive cutout? High drive cutout is brake horizontal and extend approximately six inches. Limit switch controlled, limit switch on the back side and underneath. It's inward, it's covered. You would have to be creative to try to defeat it in both locations. No mechanical latch, dual struts. These are pneumatic, foam fills an option, pneumatic standard. One thing I did fail to mention is this cowling does tilt up with the release of two bolts here for access to the radiator. Sometimes you need to clean it, get in there, it will pivot up. Oh, I see it's got struts too. Yeah. Okay. Is that a new feature? No, it's not. It's, it's not new. It's been here for a while. Yeah. Any questions on anybody else? What do you got out of the Great, thank you for your attention.